Welcome to episode 2 of learning Java with Irene Dolph. Um, today we are going to do pretty much so many things starting from variables and data types. So let's first write a simple program that are two numbers and um, variables. Variables are just simple things that stand in for, for items. You know, when you see a computer, when you see an object like a pen, you can have two pens, you can have three pens, and all these two, three, four stand for integer. They are integer data types. And when you see, and when you see, um, when you see something like a name, it's a string type because it is, it, it is a string type. And um, when you see something with decimals, it can be either a double type or a flow type. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to learn about data types and integer types. So let's first write a simple. And um, as I've already showed you in the class, so public class, let's make it add because we're going to add two numbers. And you remember the conventions I spoke about public, static. Word name and um, this is convention, so you can change the position. And um, we want to add two numbers and we want two integer types so integer a and um, integer a and integer b. And we want the result so we need three different variables and three data three different the same data type that's the integer data type so and result and what we want the result to do is in mathematics you know a plus b is equals to but in java the results come first before the argument or before the assignment statement so result is equals to a plus b and we've not we've not assigned a to anything b to anything so let's just give it numbers so a should be equals to 45 and b should be equals 98 and now we are going to output the results Um, so system dot r dot print ln. What do you want it to do? Once a a should be visible, and we want the plus to be visible, and we want b also to be visible. And what the plus does here is a concatenator, and the main plus is in quotation because we want it to show as an alphanumeric as as. You want it to be visible so a plus b should be equal to and we are going to put it also into equals to and then now we call our results and you have to terminate every program you write every line of code you write in java with a semicolon and now let's close our braces and let's save the program and the class name is add so it should be add java let's go to command prompt and let's compile add java if there's any error it's going to show it so no error java add Java add and um, now let's see how we did it out. We wanted A to show plus B and equals to 143. And this is for integer types. What if we want a string type? So let's just clear the string. Let's go back and let's add string means word so string name 
later on i'm going to delve into how to let the user input something so now let's add the string type and um, we can also assign the string to my name is Randolph so Randolph and we can also call string here so string um, when you're calling it will call the name plus okay I need some space so name plus this is pretty much not going to make sense make sure you save the program let's go back to command prompt and um, let's recompile our program again so now the thing is visible so now this is for a simple program that adds two numbers one is going to ask what if we want to write a program that can act as a calculator that the user can input something so now that is when packages and everything comes in and the reason why you install a jdk it includes so many things including packages people have written like so many thousand lines of code people have written already for you to pick up any package and use for your program so instead of you to rewrite a program or a method or a class that is going to allow people to input it has already been done all you need to do is call the method you need call the method you need and an example is the system the dot dot printer is the default method that you called so now to allow a user to input we are going to import java dot util dot scanner and then um, there are so many things in java that you have to know you have to keep in mind you don't have to it has it does not have to sleep you you have to remember so one of the things that you have to remember is when you call scanner we call scanner and you call let's say data inputs scanner is now going to work not exactly but it'll work like a data type and later on as you continue with this tutorial you're going to understand so many things so we call scanner and we want the inputs name to be data input equals to new scanner and um this also is convention it has to be the system dot in and you you terminate the line of code and um now what we want to do is we are going to make everything in a very nice way so so now we are going to allow the user to input I'm going to allow the user to input all this information instead of us doing the inputs I'm going to allow the user to do that so now let's just start everything so first of all let's output something for the user to input his name so print and um, let's ask our user enter your name you terminate as usual and here's where you come name should be equals to data inputs dots next line as a method so and yet again we're going to allow the user to input his first number so enter any number so that's going to be for his first number and we are going to 
recall that a should be equals to data input dot next integer since the first a is an integer so integer concatenate that and um, we can pretty much copy this And all we have to do is change this one to B for the second one. And the reason why you do the data dot input dot next and it comes with the package. So enter let's say the second we are gonna make it another number. And before we we want so this so now all we are going to do is just give a statement. So the same state assignment state when we make results is equal to a plus b now let's output everything system dot out dot print ln and now let's call the person's name we are going to call name plus the name plus let's call the first variable plus a plus um, just like the first time B plus another equals to plus and we call results and we just call results. I can calculate that and okay instead of the name coming here. Why not thank the user for using our program? So So let's just call the name plus Thanks for using my calc. And now this is where we're gonna know if there was an error with the program or not. And one thing you should know about programming is comment statement. To so comment, you just need to backlashes. Yeah, backslash. Yeah, you just need that. So you need two of this, and it becomes a comment. It won't be visible. All it tells the computer to do is is to just skip this line of code because it's a common statement so now let's go over what we've done so far we imported the java.util.scanner our public class that's the name of the file and we did our convention with public static void main and um, we did another convention with the scanner imports and we created our variables and afterwards we outputted the user to input something and we assigned what the user has inputted into the variable name and we did convention with the data dot input the next line the next line is the next line of what we've inputted and we did same with the integers you know, here so that you can understand everything and we did the same thing with the second variable and we assigned our statement and now we did our output so now let's see if we found any errors with it so, so let's compile the code java compile and um, add java 
and we just call Java add oh okay and the reason why we got this was because it did not save the program so now let's save the program I can save the program and compile again and where did the error come from data input that next line so let's make this a capital letter and see what happens okay so one thing you should know about it is the first letter of the next should be a capital letter if line or integer or double or anything it has to be capital letter so now let's call add so now our program did run so the program is telling the user to input his name so my name is window enter any number five enter another number 99 and 5 plus 99 is 104 so now window thanks for using my account so this makes it a very simple program your first program so congratulations you've written your first program so you can go to this procedure for addition multiplication division and um let's run the program again and see how it works so you just call java add enter your name my local name is kojo enter any number enter another number and kojo thanks for using my calc so even in this program we can create conditions and that is when programming becomes necessary you can create there are so many ways in killing a cat so you can create so many conditions for one program and this makes the program very very interesting it gives the user some sort of variety so let's just use the same source code to write a program with so many conditions not so many conditions but a bit of conditions so with the same line of code what we are going to do is so with the same program you know conditions is pretty much easy so after everything you know after either has entered the first and second number let's ask the user System dot out dot prints ln. Let's tell the user conditions about addition, multiplication, and division. So all we are going to do is for addition enter one for subtraction. enter to and let's end that multiplication and for multiplication enter three So let's make this a comment statement and let's set our conditions. Mm, so our condition here is going to be so let's create a data type for conditions and let's make it int cont. That means end condition and now let's create our condition if 
so you remember what I wrote condom is equal to count is equal to then your data input dot next and and the method so let's come here and then um, now let's set our condition so if if count and equals to one if count as equals to one now let's bring one is for addition so now we can cut this mm. we can now copy that and place it here what it simply means is if it's for addition it should output this and with conditions you can use if you can use else if and the final one should be else so else else if if count as equals to two results should be equals to Results be equals to a minus b. And now let's output. And you have to remember your braces in between there. You have to. You have to put your braces there. Okay. Let me undo that. Oh. You have to put your braces because it's convention you have to remember it's a block a segment of the program so you have to put it in braces in system that out of print since this one is addition let's make this addition and then um, your results okay so instead of the name being here let's just use our first technique and thanking the user for using the program so yep so we're gonna copy this i hope you don't get tons of errors Yep, 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 yep. And um, let's close that. And finally, else else if con is if condition is equals to three okay so else if okay so else if condition is equals to three remember your brace and let's just do that and we said three should be multiplication so And finally, there are some people who do not want to follow what is there. They want to go off the norm. So for someone like that who is going to type in any number apart from 1, 2, 3, we are going to tell the person something really interesting. Print Ellen. Try again okay or we can tell the person be wise the next time 
Okay, so this makes it very fun. When is the next time? We did not close this base. Let's hope we don't amount to so many errors. Save the program. We don't really need this anymore, so we are going to put all in comments. Make in the comments. <clears throat> So now let's see how we go with this. Let's close screen, compile. Let's compile our for Java. And it did run. Let's call add. Enter your name. My name is still ringed off what people call me Randy sometimes. Enter in number 78. Enter another number 55. For addition, enter 1. For subtraction, enter 2. And for multiplication, enter 3. So I want subtraction. So I'm going to enter 2. And it is sub subtract. So let's see if addition did work. Enter my name. I'm going to enter my local name. Mm, so I'm going to try one. And it did that. And finally, I'm going to try multiplication. Multiplication is for three, and it did work. And the same with multiplication, we did not change the assignment statement. So let's redo multiplication. Java and um, let's see how multiplication went. Multiplication is for three and it did multiply. Now let's see for for those who do not want to follow let's call him fool. Mm, he's gonna press four and be wise the next time and I program did run so you can go over this again and for every video tutorial I check out on YouTube the equivalent code is gonna be on the Anansi page on oasisworkshop.com any code you're gonna see here there's gonna be a demo a sample code add Anansi so you can go to the Anansi page of oasisworkshop.com to check out the codes if you're not sure about anything. Or you can contact me irindolf at seattle.com or irindolf at gmail.com or you can go to facebook.com slash And this is episode 2. So you can watch out for episode 3 of my irindolf tutorials on Java. So thank you so much. And um, Java program is really interesting. So... We hope to see you the next time. I hope to see you the next time. Thank you so much.